Why these insane things done by Sigma empaths to narcissists will leave them broken. Hey there, fellow truth seekers. Today, we're delving into a riveting topic that sheds light on the intricate dynamics between Sigma empaths and narcissists. It's a fascinating journey into the unexpected behaviors that unfold when these two forces collide. From subtle manipulations to surprising displays of assertiveness, Sigma empaths can shake the very foundation of narcissistic personalities. But before we dive in, let's build our community. If you're intrigued by the complexities of empath-narcissist interactions, show your support by liking this video, subscribing to our channel for more eye-opening content, and hitting the bell icon to stay in the loop. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments below. We value your insights. Get ready to explore the captivating world of Sigma empaths and narcissists. Are you prepared for the revelations that lie ahead? Let's find out together. Number one, fighting back against manipulation. Sigma empaths may resort to mind games when dealing with a narcissist who constantly manipulates them. These mind games aren't about being cruel. They're a strategic move to regain some control in a toxic relationship. As the narcissist uses tactics like gaslighting to mess with the empath's head, the empath fights back by playing the same game. By mirroring the narcissist's behavior, they hope to restore some balance. This approach helps them expose the manipulative tricks the narcissist uses and maybe even turn the tables a bit. While empaths usually avoid conflict, in this case, they're using tactics to defend themselves against the narcissist's mind games. Number two. Criticizing the critic. Sigma empaths may bombard narcissists with criticism as a way to break through their tough exterior. It's not just random nitpicking, it's a calculated strategy to make the narcissist question themselves. The empaths believe that by pointing out flaws, they can chip away at the narcissist's overinflated ego. Narcissists hate criticism because it threatens their sense of superiority, while empaths see criticism as a way to improve. Narcissists see it as a personal attack. The goal is to disarm the narcissist and weaken their control over others. Sigma empaths criticize not to be mean, but to protect themselves and those around them from narcissistic behavior. Number three, fighting fire with fire. Sigma empaths might reluctantly resort to manipulation when dealing with narcissists. It's not their usual style, but they see it as a necessary evil to protect themselves and others from the narcissist's manipulation. By using similar tactics, they hope to outsmart the narcissist and show them that their power isn't absolute. This manipulation isn't about hurting others, but about challenging the narcissist's illusion of control. It's a way to defend themselves and teach the narcissist that their actions have consequences. While they may seem deceitful, Sigma empaths see it as a way to level the playing field and bring attention to the narcissist's harmful behavior. Number four, passive-aggressive resistance. Sigma empaths may resort to passive-aggressive behavior when dealing with narcissists. This happens when the constant manipulation and self-centeredness of the narcissist become too much to handle. Instead of confronting the narcissist directly, Sigma empaths express their frustration indirectly through sarcasm or subtle defiance. It's not their preferred method of communication, but it's a way to protect their emotional boundaries without escalating the conflict. Sigma empaths use passive aggressiveness as a coping mechanism when direct confrontation is likely to be met with resistance or manipulation. While it may not be the most effective strategy, it shows how empaths struggle to maintain their sanity in toxic relationships with narcissists. Number five, breaking emotional boundaries to combat narcissism. When dealing with a narcissist, Sigma empaths might throw out the rule book. These empaths aren't afraid to challenge a narcissist's manipulative tactics head on. They see through the narcissist's facade and aim to shake things up by ignoring the usual boundaries. This isn't about being mean. It's a strategic move to protect themselves and their loved ones. By pushing back against the narcissist's control, Sigma empaths hope to make them reconsider their actions. It's a risky move, but they're willing to take the chance to expose the truth and restore balance in their relationships. Number six, 
fighting fire with fire. When faced with a manipulative narcissist, Sigma empaths might resort to emotionally manipulative tactics themselves. It's a way to level the playing field and regain some control in a toxic relationship. While it might go against their usual compassionate nature, Sigma empaths use these tactics to defend themselves against the narcissist's emotional manipulation. By creating a barrier of their own, they shield themselves from further harm and assert their boundaries. Number 7. Playing the Game of Deception While honesty is typically valued by Sigma empaths, dealing with a narcissist might lead them to bend the truth. It's not about being deceitful, but about outsmarting the narcissist. Sigma empaths understand that straightforward communication won't work with someone who's manipulative and deceitful, so they use guarded language to protect themselves. By keeping the narcissist guessing, they maintain an element of control in the relationship and shield themselves from manipulation. Number 8. Stirring up drama to expose the truth. Sigma empaths might intentionally create emotional drama when dealing with narcissists. They see through the narcissist's facade and aren't afraid to confront them. This can lead to tense and volatile situations as Sigma empaths strive to uphold their values of honesty and authenticity. While it may contribute to a rocky relationship with the narcissist, Sigma empaths are willing to risk it to uncover the truth and stand up against manipulation. As we come to the end of our discussion, one question remains. Can these unconventional methods truly inspire a shift in the behavior of narcissists? Or is there another path for them to realize the error of their ways? If you're eager to explore this topic further or in need of guidance on handling narcissistic behavior, I invite you to explore our free book and consider scheduling a one-on-one -on -one consultation. You'll find the links conveniently located in the description below. Your journey to understanding and navigating these complex dynamics is important to us. Your engagement, feedback, and support drive the growth of this community and the content we create. If you found value in today's discussion, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with others who may benefit from it. Thank you for joining us on this exploration. Together, let's continue to stay curious, empowered, and committed to growth. Until next time, Take care and keep seeking knowledge.